One fatality has now been confirmed in Europe, making it the first death on record outside Asia due to COVID-19. A Chinese tourist has died in France after contracting the new coronavirus. The victim was an 80-year-old man from China's Hubei province. He arrived in France on the 16th of January. Hospital in Paris. The man had been in a critical condition and died of lung infection due to coronavirus. The deceased man's daughter has also been infected. France was the first European country to confirm cases of the virus. So far, there are 11 cases, five of which are British nationals who caught the virus at a ski resort. Mesdames et Messieurs, j'ai été informé hier soir du décès du patient de 80 ans qui était hospitalisé à l'hôpital Bichat depuis le 25 janvier dernier et qui était atteint donc d'une infection pulmonaire par le coronavirus. Il s'agit là du premier décès par le coronavirus en dehors de l'Asie, donc le premier décès en Europe. Egypt has confirmed its first case of coronavirus. Now, this has become the first case reported so far in the African continent. And population ministries have said that the patient was not from Egypt. The nationality of the patient has not been revealed. The patient has been quarantined and is undergoing treatment. Experts have expressed concerns over how countries with underdeveloped health care systems would be able to tackle the situation should the disease become an epidemic. Let's now quickly take a global perspective. More than 15,000 people have been Infected. In fact, in China, the number of infected is 66,000. More than 1,500 people have died due to the virus in China. Four deaths have been reported outside China. One each in Japan, Philippines, Hong Kong and in France. In Asia, 294 cases have been confirmed across 14 countries outside China. 67 cases in Singapore, 56 in Hong Kong, 33 in Thailand, 32 in Japan, 28 Asia, 18 in Taiwan, 15 in Vietnam, 10 in Macau, 8 in the United Arab Emirates, 3 in Philippines, 2 in India, 1 in Nepal, Sri Lanka and Cambodia. In the Oceania region, Australia has confirmed 15 cases. In North America, 22 cases have been confirmed, 15 in the United States, 7 in Canada. In Europe, 44 cases have been confirmed across 9 countries, 16 in Germany, 11 in France, 9 in Britain, 3 in Italy and Spain, 1 in Finland, Sweden and Belgium. In Africa, one confirmed case has been reported in Egypt. Now, according to the World Health Organization, there are over 20 countries besides China that have confirmed COVID-19 cases. ...who had recently flown in from Wuhan or other hotspots. Nature, the globally renowned science journal, has named many of these nations who, despite the economic and diplomatic linkages to China, are yet to disclose the presence of COVID-19 carriers or have severely underreported the numbers. The next report tells you much more. Now, infections of the new coronavirus have now been detected in 25 countries outside China. But researchers warn that cases might be going undetected in some nations that are considered at a higher risk. A report in science magazine Nature states that countries with weaker healthcare systems, such as those in Southeast Asia and Africa, are reporting fewer cases than, in, in, than are expected or none at all. Countries with strong business ties to China are said to be particularly at risk. In a Vion report just yesterday, with fire by lifting restrictions on inbound and outbound flights from China. Researchers have been using flight data to create models of the virus's possible spread around the world. Flight data from February 2018, for instance, identifies 30 countries significantly at risk of important COVID-19 carriers. Thailand is the country most exposed and according to epidemiologists, Thailand imported uh, probably 207 cases in the two weeks before travel in and out of Wuhan was restricted.
Indonesia might have reported as many as 29 cases and has uh, not declared a single case so far. Now, this despite being one of the most popular countries for tourists. Several other countries, including Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia and Australia, have also reported fewer cases than the model predicts. What is worrying? Cases have gone undetected and the virus is spreading under the radar of the authorities. African continent has reported one confirmed COVID-19 case. The report, however, does agree several countries in Africa might not be as exposed as some Southeast Asian nations. At the same time, the reports point out how some countries in Africa have weak healthcare systems, low economic status, unstable political situations, which might make them highly vulnerable. Furthermore, a large number of Chinese laborers work in Africa and their travel between China and Africa is a possible route for transmission. In the first week of February, Pakistan decided to resume phase 5 are suspected carriers of COVID-19. By its own admission, though, Pakistan is not equipped to both contain or treat suspected cases. And yet, it continues to receive hundreds of passengers, including Chinese nationals, at a time when the novel coronavirus is just beginning to peak. Pakistan followed what other nations had done in the wake of the outbreak. They too, like many other nations, stopped inbound and outbound flights to China. But on the 3rd of February, Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's his government's public health advisor, Zafar Mirza, announced that flights to and from China will not be stopped. And curiously enough, February 3rd is also when Pakistan reportedly said it had developed its own COVID-19 diagnostics kit. Around 100 passengers from Beijing, Hangzhou and other places land in Pakistan and go about their day every week. Most of these flyers aren't tourists but engineers and high-level contractors that supervise the many works ongoing in Pakistan with Chinese money. So given the volume of uh, to and fro travel from Pakistan to China and back. How is it that Pakistan has not declared any confirmed case of the novel coronavirus? In the Indian subcontinent, both India and Nepal have uh, confirmed coronavirus cases. Now, given the volume of what we know, poor health infrastructure in Pakistan, economic interests outweighing emergent health concerns and a steady number of suspected cases, don't know. The actual number of infected or confirmed cases forms the basis of what we ask. By not disclosing possible infections, is Pakistan playing with fire? The relationship between the two nations is often described by Pakistani officials in poetic terms. China too considers Pakistan a quote-unquote all-weather friend. Forming the basis of that friendship are billions of dollars in loans as part of Beijing's Belt and Road Initi Initiative and Infrastructure Project. The story here isn't just about money, though. It's about Beijing's ability to exert copious amounts of pressure on significantly weaker nations. And it is certainly...